Good morning and welcome to the Bendigo East Bowls Club for some last 16 men's singles action. This is a game, Sammy, that when the draw was made a few weeks ago, I was looking forward to from that very moment. Brad Marant representing um, Kangaroo Flat Bowls Club in the Bendigo Compassity Goldfields region. It's Jay by Norris representing Deer Park from the Metro West region. How excited are you for this one, pal? Yeah, the old bowls link uh, auto competitor gods have given us a good one here, haven't they? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, can't really pick a winner either. I think what Very I'm most excited what There's two things I'm excited about. One is that these, both of these are absolute competitors. They do not like losing. And second, they can both play all the shots. They're both exceptional draw bowlers, but can play big conversion and big weighted shots. So I think we've got some fireworks in store for this one. First end, 25 up. No time limit, of course. Green, as good as it has been the last few days. Weather as good as it's been the last few days. The only probably slight difference was with a tiny bit of rain, uh, not rain, wind earlier. But it's kind of dropped down a bit now. It's that awkward sort of hot, cold, yeah, it's a bit jumper on, jumper off. Yeah, sort of you can stuff. see, you can see that in the players. Jay with his off, and Brad with his on. Commentary booth is exactly the same. I've got my guns out, and Sam's all wrapped up with a hoodie and a and a vest. Brad drawing to the back. Rod Bates the marker, holding shot. Jay just looking to be inside of that last one. Looking pretty handy here, Sammy. We can just finish off. Oh, look at the finish on the bowl eight. Yes, he played. can. On the J, grabs a shot with that. He can't be too aggressive, Brad. Get Jay's a chance of getting his own back on out as well. Takes the probably smart option of trying to come through his own bowls on the forehand. This is what I was trying to play last night, the exhibition game. <laughs> the same missing. result as me missing. So I want the Jay to kick us off on this one. I can see this one going the full distance, Sammy. I don't think anyone yes, gets a hold of the other on this. I think it's pretty evenly matched. Women's Champ of Champs action continuing as well up on A-Green this morning, up to the quarterfinals. A few upsets last night in store for a good couple of games as well this morning. We only flint against Taylor Marin. Lynette Pym, who beat Sammy Atkinson last night against Jill Smith from Eastern Park. Michelle Tate up against Brooke Edwards. Should be a good one as well. And Jody Fruin against Katrina Glover as well. Everything live score all these, yep. Yep, everything being live scored. Same for the men's uh, last 16 singles as well. Some good games in that field as well. And this start from Jay. In singles games, a first bowl pressure. If you can lead off to a good start, starts to four shots from your opposition, unsettles them, unnerves them a little bit. Morning, Tana. Thank you, old pal. 
joining us for what should be an absolute crack and I think Brad's grabbed shot with that. As I reckon will happen quite often, Jay replies by grabbing shot. Just adding that foot or so to his last. Brad on the charge of hands. It was a cracker. Jay has nothing behind the head now. Morning, Sarah. Yep, that is young Vincent next door. He's up against Adam Fitzgerald from the Richmond Union Bowls Club in the Yarra region. And we have the four women's champion and champions quarterfinals in the other rinks. Forehand, trying to get the bowl or Jack here. He's trying to drop late. Just didn't turn for him. Brad now goes the jumper off. Warmed up sufficiently enough in the second end. No rush these two, playing this at a very methodical pace. What's not methodical is that you're tackling that bacon and egg sandwich there somewhere? No, we're just going to get it done with. Uh, I thought he was better than that. Just pulled up on him, I think I'll only take the one out of that. A couple of early signs to note from that end though. Jay was pretty quick on the attack when Brad drew one close and he could still see the jack. Some of have seen of Jay singles games before, he's he's quick on the attack. He backs himself on the drive. The other thing to note was the first four bowls, the shot changed four times. So I reckon they're going to see that a heap. Yeah, we saw a lot of that when he was playing singles in the VPL. Yep. Driving like first bowl, driver off. Restart the end, even kill it. Very close. And uh, we will get an umpire. Both players favouring their own, I reckon, by that measure, the way they both went down. Jimmy Scullin, the back, watching his mate Vinny next door. He's good mates with Jay as well, so we couldn't have put these goals on better rings for someone like... <laughs> Jimmy Scullin can see both games that he wants to watch. Also, Brad's partner Taylor, a couple of rings down. She's on ring four. And I do believe that the uh, the kids in the classroom where Brad works at Kangaroo Flat North Primary, is that right? I think that's right, yep. Are watching shout as well out. at home. So shout out to all the kids at Kangaroo North Primary if you are watching Brad play this game. Good to have you tuning in. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure Brad said you could have the rest of the afternoon out of lessons and in the playground. <laughs> if he wins. Morning, CJ. 
sure you're one of the ones that just couldn't miss this game. And this is incredibly close. Two. <laughs> well, maybe not. Yeah, like, I, I think that's the sign of a pretty good umpire when he goes back and triple checks his, double checks his work, sorry, off the first one. I'm in serious mode this morning, Janice. I'll get some jokes later on. <laughs> Split them. I reckon that was a dead heat. So Brad will take that. Is it dead heat, Rob? Yeah, dead heat. Yeah, it was a dead heat. So it'll just be the one to Brad. Wow, well, I don't. We saw a no score end yesterday. <laughs> we did too. Two touches. A bit happening. Shorter end try by Brad here. Rolls the jack. No Phelpsy. We are not. New stadium coming though, 60,000 seater. We're going to be massive, mate. I love Phelpsy, that's fantastic. You're in all sorts. This is, it's what we do though. It's <laughs> like, very blues, isn't it's it? It's very blues. <laughs> Still rather be a blues fan than a Man U fan though, you know? draws in. Yeah, I see a few people comment on Brad's delivery. He was a very good mate to Lee Schreiner. Played with him here at Bendigo East for a while. Won a state pairs title and an Australian pairs title with him too. Draws shot Brad. There's another kid as well. Bailey Randall who plays here at Bendigo East. He's just moved to Deer Park. Um, he has the same delivery as well, so obviously all from the Lee Schreiner School of Bowls. Jake is awfully close to grabbing shot there. I think he gives up. Yeah, Steve, everything should be live score. JT's doing the back green and Sammy's doing this front green. So we should be should be getting your updates. Three singles. I have Vincent McElwain on the ring next door. Brooke Edwards off to a good start. Leads 4 0 over Michelle Tate. Two apiece between Mornington Peninsula and Geelong. These are women's champion champs games, of course. Quarter finals. Taylor Marin up 3 0 against Leonie Flynn early as well. Yeah, just checked the. Uh, is JT doing his job? He is. Good. He is. First time this week, but he is. Now 
we go round. Morning race eight. Can confirm these greens are greens are mint. And uh, we played a nice little staff game on rink six here last night. Defence team getting the job yeah, done. Which Again. Means Sammy, we're in no real danger of losing to JT and Melt. And of course got the job done. And if I can play on this green, because I played a half all right, didn't I, Sammy? I think you did. If I, if I can play on this green, anyone can play on it, Reese. So I'm looking forward to having you up here in the men's champ of champs. It's on the weekend, I think, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, Jay. Trying to mix this head up here, Sammy. Doesn't. Be one to Brad. He'll lead 2 1. Close to 25. Oh, I reckon we're in for the long haul. I reckon this has got a good two and a half to three hours in length this game. No other player. Yeah, well, you just know both, like every and they're both going to have bowls around yeah. about. It's going to make like, it hard for them to see numbers being picked up. And, and you can see they're both just playing, like they're both in a calm mood and they're both just relaxing into the game. And a spot on Lee. They, uh, I, I actually, like the greens are always amazing here, but I feel like they're as good as ever up here at the moment. Like there's, they're just immaculate. Nah, no time limit, Steve, in any of the state champs. see the jack and a, the opposition plays a good bowl he generally goes at Jay peels the bowl off with no jack movement <laughs> I can't believe he backs himself to get that he, he, does, it, bowl. he, he does it every time it's it's an obvious obvious tactic from Jay morning Sean morning Brendan uh, can confirm me and Sammy took it down was it 12-9 or something in the end after 10 ends sounds about right JT's still in a mood. Hasn't spoke to us since. Like I found some good balls to you, just put it that way. They've yeah. been well trained. <laughs> yeah. But I've got a feeling they're going to challenge us to a best of three, so we'll probably play another game tonight. This is pretty fair, fair forehand. That's where you get the ball out. I've had another in. Oh, it's a couple. I, went, I wonder where that inclination to play, that tactic's come from. Like, he, do, does he feel... He obviously backs himself to hit the drive and, and either pop the jack or remove the shot bowl, but does he think it disturbs the opposition? Because it's pretty demoralising. Yeah. It's pretty deflating. If, you just, if you're playing a good bowl and it's only there for one like one moment, and it gets driven off. Put you straight back under pressure to put it back there as well. All of a sudden, you miss. Hey, we're there with your third bowl. I am saying that. Brad Marin looking to reply. Try his own. This is... And all of a sudden, Jim, he was saying numbers would be hard to come by. Jay by and back him in to draw a third here. Needs to settle now. And that is in. Good pick up. Three shots over J White. Lee 
needs four too. Yeah, well, other good matchups as always is last 16 of a men's singles down on B Green this morning, Jim. Battle of the Eagles, one Gratter and Craigie Byrne. It's Ethan Fruin taking on Bobby Watt. Bobby Watt just won the opening three ends, all singles, 3 0 the scoreline. Scotty Boshan, big open singles champ, back in action against your man, Jared Spike Boyd, 3 4. Uh, early on, Scotty just picked up a three there, still trails. Dan Priddle also in action, leads 4-1 early against Rod Sinclair from Warwick Namil. Yep, good first ball pressure from Brad. Interesting to note, Jay didn't deem that one close enough to drive. I think he likes it set up more when they're Jack High or just mm. in front of the Jack, so it gives him a couple of options. It's a funny atmosphere when singles are on here at Bendigo East because it's just so quiet. It is just yeah. it's very tame compared to when team events are on. It's sort of probably you can hear the birds squawking in the background more than you can hear anyone applauding bowls or cheering. Just doesn't have that team environment. Jay's got to be close to resting these bowls here, Sammy. Can he get the front one? He gets touch off the front one and it's the back one for second shot. Some good form these two players singles wise as well. This is the, obviously the men's singles, um, but they are both also in the men's champion of champion draw as well. The difference between them is champion of champion starts off at club level, so they've won their club singles and then gone and won the region champion of champions and find themselves here. Whereas just the men's singles, which is this event, it's just at region level and they've won that. It's Jay needs to grab anything here. Did he look over at me then or not? Because I've been too loud once before commentating on a singles game of his. Can't be too loud when the bowl's already three quarters of the way down, surely. He said to me, he goes, oh, I can hear everything you're saying. I said, I read it. He goes, yeah, he goes, it's fine, but everything I'm thinking you're saying. So it's like hearing myself twice. <laughs> I said, sure, that's the sign of a good commentator. <laughs> a bit stiff to find the gap. There's another one in the air out. Looking down a second. Yeah, it's his second opportunity of a of a, what you would call a free hit. He's okay so here. Far. Needs to get a good rub oh. straight down the line for one to four three. Whack from Mike. Thanks, Mike. And he start from Brad. Sensational reply from Jay. <laughs> it 
So you reckon if that roles were roles were reversed, mm -hmm. like Jack I bowl, Jay would have a look at that. Brad's close. Yeah, but not if I can do that. Oh, gets him. Settles in time for one. Good shot. The holding rug. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. Jay's still Nuff. holding. Jay's still one. Oh, the last bowl down here. It's hard to tell sometimes on the camera angles. Shocking angle. Mm, it's it's terrible because the back looks in by mile really yeah. on the on the screen we're looking at. He's trying to sit that now. He's jail draw inside it. Oh, he almost got that perfect. It's a good effort to not nudge the bowl at all. Any touch it falls down in behind. Brad does go this time. Trying to change some of it up. I've got to be fair, he was practicing on this green. I was about last, to mention that. Last night next door to us where we played probably the biggest game of yesterday, the BV stuff game. And Brad didn't miss a drive on. He's missed two so far. Just the one, so the players are coming and have a look at this. Yeah, I think it's only the one. It's just still the front bowl that's shot, is it? Well, I think no? when Jay didn't sit... Well. Nah, it's the front. I, the, I don't think the back... The back sort of rolled one too far. That's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> Anymore. Yeah, I think so. I think the. Hey, Shorty. The pass must be too far through. Shorty JT never won the stuff game. Me and Sammy did. He played with Mel. I'll give it. I'm the worst bowler. Out the four of us, I'm the least credentialed. That's what we'll call it. Me and Sammy still took him down. Just gotta get up past the front here. From Brad. Unfortunately, rolls Jay up. So, he, so on the basis that that was already shot, it's still just the one. I think so. It becomes tricky with Jay whether he still has a chance to draw on the forehand. Mm. It's sort of a bit blocked up now. Morning, Jay. Yeah, Tay has bolted out the gate. Brad's partner Taylor Marion, a couple of rings over. She's 8 0 up over Leone Flynn. In that women's champion of champions quarter final. This is rather fair. Mm -hmm. From about 10 feet away, it didn't look like it was not going to be in the count. That will be a couple to Jay, so 6 3 will nudge in front two now. Starting in from Jay. Makes such a difference that first bowl if it's close. Looks like a good reply coming in here from Brad. Cracking stuff. Mm. What does Jay do now? 
We've seen him be fairly aggressive when Brad's gone close early. <laughs> oh, I thought he might have oh, oh, still as is. He was, as he was halfway no. through the delivery. Off the line now. It's okay. Morning, Barb. Yep, yeah, these two pretty friendly with one another. They're playing it in real good spirit so far. They're both just ultra competitors, I reckon. Yeah, and yeah. they're both fantastic players. They can play all the shots and that they won't give an inch, either of them. But yeah, two played in good spirits. A uh, little bit conversation between them as Brad dots another <sighs> one. Now I reckon we see a bit of speed. Morning, Joe. Gets the shot, ball. Gets the kill here. Yeah, get ready for this one. Doesn't go huge. It's just going to hang with that. Anywhere that doesn't build a target is right here. Turn eight. Sure, yeah, I was just about to say it. I was just about to say, mate. Everything's been live scored, but I just looked at Buck's score and he's five four down at the moment, mate. Against Stan Slawinski. Really wants to make sure if he gets the shot ball that the Jack's definitely getting out of bounds. Close up. Shot, Shot in. Got to drop, got to drop, got to drop. Gets a piece of it. He gets incredibly stiff with the fact that nothing went out of bounds there. Still one, maybe two down. He's still two down. Oh, he's got the shot pole so fine that it hasn't got it right through the jack. Jack's stayed in. Off the line at the race spot. Leave room for Brad to draw third. Hasn't made any mistake here. Good, and that's all of three, and we're back at all square here, Jim. Yeah, this will happen a few times. We'll even up a few times, and the lead will change a few times, I reckon. Start again. It's a piece of the jack. I wonder if Jay goes this. Does he run away far enough or not? I wonder if he goes this. I, mean. <laughs> I love he this. Does. This is good. He does. He needs to hold. Yeah, he's under. It's a brave tactic. from him. I think he goes again here. Here he does. Backs him 
Sam's have to. Still under, is it? I don't know. I think he's a bit firmer this time. Sam is close. He's very close. Oh, edge oh, is it? Stayed in. Yeah, Jack stays right in on it's the corner. It's going to be a fun draw out there. We ain't seen many Jacks out there the last couple of days, have we? Certainly not. And Brad won't mind. He still holds a couple. Going inside out here. And he's running on the way in. You went inside out or an outside inner? Uh, outside in. Unless the head's probably set up like this where I've got my own to turn up. Or, or just does he hold on good. enough here? Does he hold on to stay in the rink, Brad Maron? He's pretty close to the... Oh, falls down. Peg. Yep, still all good. He's played that very well. Jay going the other direction, so... Brad's already clapping him. He's trying to hunt the jack. Has he got it, Sam? Oh. Just how past it at the end. Brad was clapping him from a long uh, way out. He yeah, thought he back was... Back to have nice enough speed to either get a little piece of the pole or any touch of the jack. It's all good. It's all last night. There's a little bit of a lip of the ditches going that mm. way as well. You can... Fractionally, if you get there, we'll stay up. That one just over. Quite enough weight to catch it. I reckon Brad's trying to sink it in return here. I'll tell you what, Sam, can he get down at the end? Awfully close. I don't know that that was just an, just an over, like just put too much weight in on his jaw. He was trying to sink the jacket. It would make sense. He's mm, holding trying three. Trying to get to it first. He's holding three and he just finishes the end. Like there's little risk from doing that. Has Jay played the same or less weight so he might guarantee he gets second shot? I think he's definitely played less weight. And he probably plays a very sensible while there, just to draw second. Yeah, it's pretty smart. Didn't want to go hunting too far. Brad will lead for the second time in this game. 7-6 now. I was 2-1 up earlier before Jay picked up a three. Jody Frewer not messing around this morning, Jim. Leads 13 2 early on. Just picked up a four. Quarterfinals, women champion champs. Brooke Edwards leads Michelle Tate 7 4. Lynette Pym up and about early once again. Leads 10 2 over Jill Smith. And Taylor Marin with a hot start as well. Leads Leonie Flynn 10 shots to 1. Package Jay towards the Jackman. Try hard now. Yeah, looks good. Surely gets down to that bowl. Oh, gets the outside and turns it down, and his own falls out. Holding shot.
So he's trying here on the back end. Just needs to stop. Mm, Morty unlucky again. When he turns his own down is okay. Stops in time. He adds another. Brown having a close look. It's just the one down. Favourite. Still looks like it's at forehand draw. Could potentially play a little bit more speed. Gets the jack out to the right hand sides. Not terrible. A little under might flick the shot pole out. See what he comes up with. He's just trying to play positively, get up to it, trail and jack, just missing wide. Does leave him only one ball in the head, Jay just looking to see if yeah, he can make it. Another one or maybe two. Possibly still chance on the back end, turns his own down. Runs up and might stick to the forehand draw, he falls off. Any of the bulks past the jack and back in as two. Front pole currently shot. And there you go, back end it is. Strawberry plate, not sure it's getting back in time. And he's played enough to get the shot pole through over the jack. Looks like it'll be just a single the way of Jay Biden will. Tie things up once again. We'll put a tape on it first. Here you go, just a single. I have J Boy. Things tied up, seven apiece. This men's singles round of 16 contest. A couple of other scores. The men's side of the draw next door. You might have. You can pick it up there. The scoreboard in the background. Strezlecki lead 10 1. That's Finney McAwain over Adam Fitzgerald from Richmond Union. Couple other scores from B Green stands. Lewinsky from Frankston leads. Buck Lemon from Murray Downs eight six. Bobby Watt continue his good start over Ethan Fruin leads seven one. Jared Boyd still leads Scott Potion nine six. Norm Whitehead good start as well leads Mark Jones from New Merca Golf eleven shots to six. Greg Brown. He had to drop an end against Shane Holmes from Hayfield early on. Greg, of course, we saw early in the week playing in the pairs. No one nil the scoreline there, and Dan Priddle and Rod Sinclair locked at seven apiece. So some good games around the place this morning at Pendigo East as Brad Marin draws a pretty handy first bowl. Fair reply from Jay. It's a little piece of the jack. Forces Brad to change over. Not a mile away, just needs to run. It's now the track. It's pulling up.
needs to miss here, so mate. Oh, the side is good. There's another wait for it. We have nearly run it far enough. Falls out late. Prane coming down to have a look at things after it. Second bowl here. It doesn't look great from the mat. Nah, it's probably just. Oh, he wants to check. So, on this green, a couple of other scores. Women's champion and champions, quarterfinals. Jodie Fruin from Owens and Murray leads Katrina Glover 13 2. Lynette Pym from Mornings Peninsula leads Jill Smith from Geelong 12 5. Uh, Brooke Edwards from Metro West leads Michelle Tate 7 4. I can't quite see the talent. Taylor Murray and Leonie Flynn. I can now 10 1 to Taylor Murray over Leonie Flynn from Gippsland. Just needs to miss. Doesn't. It's anything but. <laughs> Brings another one of Jays in. Still a bowl to come for each player. Pretty good couple here, there's not a lot on for Pratt. Doesn't have the yeah, just not where he wanted to end up. I think Jack High and White and Gowning would have been real good. Sure here. He could play a Sammy Rogers from last night and maybe swing the jack in the ditch on the back end. <laughs> Gets up through the front bowls, maybe removes a few. Can still almost draw the shot as well on the back end, but low percentage. Yeah, I think I mean the shot you're calling is probably the shot to play, but it also fraught with danger as well. Still a big gap. You can go through and just miss everything and an opportunity to add a few more. I think he knows it's uh, not an easy shot. He's shaking his head to himself. Can they try it? Big way. Way bigger than I thought, and he will get one out. Yeah, that so was his other closest, though, so it might have been two to two. I don't know if it was three before that. Yep. She Couple regains the lead. Yeah, another change in lead. Nine seven now. First real big change in length we've seen all game. What have we played? Ten ends. Brad kind of tried this. Coming this way as well. So it's just coming through.
correction from Jay. Pretty fair reply. Starting to dial in here. Oh, Brad. We've said this before. He practiced on this green next to us last night and did not miss a drive. He's struggling to find it at the moment with his big weight. Yeah, not a bad shot. Just another target, bold target though. Brad goes again. There's not a lot on. Yeah, if you go once there, you back yourself to correct yourself. Correct the last one, play the same shot. Doesn't go as big. There you go. Yeah, close up. Yeah, it goes to Jack. And, uh, Jack goes out of bounds down the line, so we'll replay that one. Slow-mo is all-time. Love it. <laughs> there he is, Roger that, Matty O'Brien. Had a couple pretty good days. Still going to be up here later on in the week as well. Loves the state championship these days, does Matty O'Brien. Can't stop winning them. Part of that stacked fours rink that took down the men's fours a couple of days ago. Of course, won this event last year, men's singles. Who invited this donkey? <laughs> this is winners only territory, yeah, man. I know. I might. Hang out of commentary for a bit and le leave you with JT and he can talk about how he was absolutely dominated by me and Sammy on the bowls green on rink six last night. Thanks, Jim. Catch you a little bit later in the day. Yeah, the, the comments were bringing it up. They were all interested in who took out the glory. <laughs> Good shot by Brad Marin in the last end. Needed that. Jay leading 9-7. Plays very similar length. Jack maybe a little bit shorter this time around. Very close to minimum. Brad running again. Morning to you, Joshua. Good little game developing here, as we thought it might be. Uh, yeah, morning, Sam. Uh, you know, I look. I haven't seen a minute. I've been at the other green, live scoring, but I kind of expected this type of score. Two quality bowlers. Yeah, just very back and back and forth. No real momentum, as you can see, based on the scoreline. But Jay Byers locked in on this shorter length, then forcing Brad to drive again and. That Jacks end up closer to us. Two JT. daddies in a row. Could be here all day. Yeah, it could be. I don't imagine Jay's going to change the length at the end. Last four draw shots have been all over it. Forcing Brad to come up with a good one. Just a fraction longer, this one. Yeah, a little bit. This is probably what we played uh, the first time we tried to complete this end. <laughs> And what's uh, Brad been playing when he's been winning the mat? Yeah, he tried something similar sort of very early on in the pace, but apart from that, this is probably the feel first real 
big change of length we've seen. Yep. Everything else has been in between. But it's been good bowls, probably no no other players really, really dominated on the draw just yet. It's still a very high quality game. There's a response from Brad Aaron. What a shot. Played four drives with his last four I was going to say, that, 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 first that, draw that's in indicative of a man that's pretty confident the way he's playing. j boys not far away. Just about on it, is it? Not quite. I'm just refreshing myself with some scores across the green here too. So, Evans and Murray, Jody Fruin leading 14-3 over Katrina Glover. Mm. The Ballarat Highlands Metro West match. Can't see the Metro West score there. Uh, Brooke is ahead. 12-7. Uh, yeah, okay. Morning to Peninsula versus Geelong. Uh, Morning Peninsula leading 14-7. Uh, BCG versus Gippsland in the ladies singles quarter final. Ladies champ champs. 11 4 in favour of Taylor Marin. And next door, the inferior McElwain, Vinny. Mm, up and about early. 12 1 up. Adam Fitzgerald from Yarra. Sees the sets all, falls back, still only one. If he lands this shot, bowl JT and gets the jack, he puts it into a spot that unless he gets it right through, doesn't really favour him. So no, it could be just a, one of those ones where he just tries to dead draw and hopes he gets the bowl and flops it and stays. Otherwise, you probably if you think you can play big weight and get it past the bowls, um, that's the only other option, I reckon. Going to draw a shot. What's he playing with, Sammy? XG's? Oh, I'm not 100% sure about that. I By the way, that's ended up in a very good spot. Because um, he can often go to a swooping bowl. Yeah. You're right about that finishing Some that spot because there was nothing for Brad to just arrive there and get the bowl over and make three or four. So. Back to a dead draw. Only a good one. Speed was awesome. Third time of asking, we complete this end, and it's a one the way of Brad Barron. 9 8. The lead to J. Norris. Nothing in it, JT. Oh, so I didn't know whether the blue ones were tigers or not. The other, the black with the white speckles, are tiger twos that he sometimes uses. So these might just be XGs, JT. He's getting a lot of turns, so I'm not so sure about that. Go ask, go out there and ask him. <laughs> it's your job. You should already know, Sam. Yeah, that should have been Jim's job. I'm just here for special comments. Does Jim even work? Is he doing life scoring for the other games? Ah, oh, who knows? Shall we have a look? Uh, yep, that game's That's progressed. Bob Watt, 10. Ethan Frund, 3. Scott Potion. Oh, very back and forth. Chad Boyd still leads him 10-8. If 
We'll see he's around the 16 games. Norm Whitehead, 12-9 ahead over Mark Jones. Greg Brown still ahead at 9-4. Last couple in the way of Shane Holmes. Bucky and Steen. Uh, Bucketh. Still trailing. So he's got a little, on a little bit of a run there. Three ends in a row. Leads 11-7. And Dan Pretty was one of the last few ends to get a little bit of a lead. 12-8 over Rod Sinclair. As we mentioned, all those games live scored. Rink next door. You can see in the background there. Vinnie McElwain, 12-2. Head over Adam Fitzgerald. Sure, how often the far ink is getting updated in terms of scoreboard, but if that is correct, every two hands, Jody Fruins now picked up two fours. JT could, could be wrong, but the overall is eighteen five, so highly likely. The only thing about that though is, doesn't the Katrina have first bowl this end? <laughs> so it may not have been yeah, updated. Which she's got a four, and then Katrina's got to take a two on the previous. That could be a quick one. Sounds bright. <laughs> <laughs> what? what a comment that what is. Jesus. Sounds, sounds bright. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> oh, I've been sitting in front of the clubhouse doing a lot of scoring. Please. I was cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm, I think I need a hat. Another nice morning for it. No real wind to speak of. Go on big. From Bradley Marin. We, we touched on that. First time he's hit probably with big weight. The ones that he's gone big, he's probably missed so far three or four times. That's the first one he's gone real big in. Now the target. What I was about to say is in that BV grudge match that we played in yesterday. <laughs> you're still bringing this up. No, but... what? <laughs> Next door Brad when you're was watching. practicing yes. a couple of ends yes. away and he, he drove often in his practice and Correct. I reckon he had the jack mover nearly every time. Not 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 that he got it flush every time, but he... He's just practicing three draws and then drive with his last. Yeah, so he's, um as I said, been practicing quite hard. Start from Brad, look at the finish still on these bowls, this side of the green. Good late turn. Is Grudge match two today, Sammy? I was just about to ask you that, whether you'd like a rematch or not. Absolutely. Good. Yep. I can't imagine Jimmy we'll, ever playing that good again in his life, let we'll alone... We'll see how we go. It's, oh, it's still possible there might be a third game tonight. I know. We're relying potentially on... Yes, I realise that. Mm. But we'll see how we go as the afternoon progresses. A pretty fair change. I reckon JD Rivany. Yeah, there's a gap between the bowls or Jack, not sure. Uh, he's going here. Told you. Oh, wow. 
Oh, it's a new game. Brad's still got two, but probably yard now to draw a shot. Yeah, touch her bang on the rink number in the ditch. Two to Brad. It's going to add a third in here, you'd imagine. Doesn't make any mistake here. Might even be on the jack again. Great areas. All right, Jake, two to come. Needs to get back and draw one here. Plenty of room to even draw second shot. All down to pace here. Just needs to hang around. And... It's gone a long way late. Did turn late. Yeah, it did. It was enough for second shot. Superb speed. Missed out. Give Jay a look to draw the shot still. Just got to fix room. his line, Sammy. He keeps the weight. He's uh, half a sniff. We wide up. Yeah, still at the same speed. Well played. Uh, one to Jay. Tonight. So we thought what happened, JT. It's taken us the good part of an hour to see someone reach double figures. Not going anywhere in a hurry. No, when you got a good standard match, though, you don't care. to this Matt back and jack up and pretty handy start. Gets her right contacts, makes a couple. Close here. Since get under. Oh. Fair play falls out, but doesn't make it easy to sit through. Backhand, Sammy. Turned around the corner that way. Half interested. Just needs to hurry up in time. Fall back. Oh, falls um, away. That could give him another option the other way now. Could. A bit of a plant going on, getting the barrel. Should we be a back end draw, get another one thereabouts? Definitely needs another one ahead, there's no doubt about that.
plays backhand. He can take away the shot from Jay potentially on that backhand then. First part looks all right, Sammy. It's all at speed now. This is pretty good here. Both lads just starting to form their range on the draw. One and a look. Two options. You could play weight on the forehand. Shot ball still the front one, you reckon, JT? Oh, I believe so. Or he just dead draws it on the back end. Depends how confident he is whether it's one versus two. If he mm. thinks he's only one down, there could be more chances he plays that forehand bit of weight. But if he thinks it's two, I reckon he'll opt for a backhand draw. He managed to get to his and flops over. Yes, he has. Well played. Oh, just got there in time. I did think for a second he wasn't going to get yeah, there, Sammy. Like or he might have been cutting a bit early, but nah. Game's played in good spirits so far too. Definitely. Just got there in time to fall back. I think there's a, a mutual respect between the two of them. Still chances for Brad on the back end here. He only has to get the jack moving a little bit. He makes two at least. Oh. Always a bit thin, that one. And it'll be one to Jay. Eleven eight. Scores across A green in the All Women's Championships quarterfinals. Jody Fruant still ahead, leads 19 5 now. Just six away from victory. Brooke Edwards has also opened up a lead against Michelle Tate. 16 7, the score there. Lynette Pym leads Jill Smith 15 8. And Taylor Marin, who was on top earlier. The game's just starting to tighten up a fraction. Taylor still leads 12 shots to 7. And B Green. Stan Slowinski's kicked away from Bucky Lehman. 16-9 up. Poppy Watt, 10 over Ethan and Fruin, 4. Uh, Jared Boyd, 13 over Scotty Boshan, 8. Normie Whitehead leads Mark Jones 13-10. Greg Brown 11 over Shane Holmes 6. And Dan Priddle's opened up a little bit of a lead here over Rod Sinclair. 14 shots to 8. Nice work, JT. Ah, two bit of teamwork there, Sammy. It's probably the loosest two first bowls of any end of since I've sat down. They're only like a yard pass, but... Best one, Sammy, so far. Holds on in time for one. Change, changing back to the forehand here. <laughs> I worry about him. Oh, mate, he's a Who's weirdo. Brother, whose brother's that? That's not mine. <laughs> he's the fourth one. I think he was adopted. <laughs> Come in late, you know. What oh, Jay was after. Gives Bradley a little bit of a chance here to... 
Đấy. 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 Not terrible either, Josh. Too much room. Makes no mistake. We've seen the last couple ends where J Boy has played real short. Brad being able to work his way out of it, a little bit of a pressure. The time it's over to Jay to come up with a big one with his last. It's got to hang. Don't think it's going to. Oh, nearly held on to the shot bulge. Drifted away late. Now, if I'm a better man, I reckon we'll be all square 11 apiece after this bowl. Semi. Gets a little touch of the jack. Is that another one in, possibly? That's greedy. Pretty good. A little touch of the jack sideways before JT. Oh. <laughs> David Radley knew it. <laughs> there you go. If it holds the other way, nearly gets the other one in. Rod's already put three up and walked away before the boys even declared it. That's how confident he was. Now you're right, JT. We'll square. Big day in NBA playoffs today too, Sammy. I knew you were going to say that because I had a look to see what was happening in the world of sport this morning before I left the hotel and I saw there was basketball and I thought JT's definitely bringing that up in commentary. West playing today. Come on, the Warriors. Go Curry. Shoot some threes. <laughs> <laughs> Who are they playing against? Sacramento Kings. There's a game going right not, now. Lakers are playing Pelicans and the Lakers are 57 44 up. <laughs> Cassie watching from Western Australia. JT. Novices in three days' time. All the best with that. Starter J Bite. Karen, we're actually not sure what bowl Jays and J Boys are using. We know they're hence light. We just don't know whether they're Tigers, Tiger Twos, or Dream One XGs. Sam didn't do his job before the start of the match, so hey, we're blaming you him. You can settle down, please. Learned from morning to Peninsula has kicked away too, Sammy. Yeah, I reckon she's picked up a three or a four there. And Brooke JT Edwards has kicked away well. too. So was Taylor Marin as well. Looked like he was tightening up there. She picked up the last couple of ends to sneak ahead 16 7 once again. So a little bit one sided of the Women's champion Champions quarterfinals at the moment, but still, a long way to go. Still going to get to 25. It's great thing about singles. You only have to score one and end. And the opposition's not getting any closer. Uh, that's a good effort from Brad. Just oh, the side of that pole was just about right. There you go, Mark Casey. So to the rescue. Kept us in the loop. They are turning a mile still. That one gets all the way back to the line. Well, that's just the good turning side, Sammy. We know that. We do now. No, well, it has been all week. That side. So why well, you play the other side? No. <laughs> just played you Russian. played this side a lot last night. I played both sides, mate. <laughs> no, you didn't. Did so. <laughs> All right, Brad's 
on the back end here. Good chance here to get a little bit of a split or get his own over the shot pole. Got to get down a bit more. Trying hard now. Oh, tabbed. <laughs> Any pace is enough. Aggressive line from Jay here. I reckon he's obviously looking to run uh, Brad's bowl out. Clearly looking to sit out underneath to make which three. Which had some danger in it if it didn't go well, but anyway. No harm. One badge. He's back in front. You're right. from Jay Boy. Matt Moore up now. Jack closer to the tee. You're a good starter. Brad opting for some aggression early and he's awfully close. Another dead end. That'd be dead end number five or six I reckon. It's definitely dead end number three since I've been sitting here. <laughs> no, you did not miss much, Sam. I said it's what's that? There's been three dead ends since I've been here. How many before that? Another two or three. I guess well then, didn't I? Jack on the way through. Uh, Jack with his opening bowl. Pretty fair correction, important. It fell down as well. Not sure if Brad will change over here or not. <coughs> but you've got to get enough weight to hold under his own on the forehand. Say, he's been reasonably attacking, so it wouldn't surprise me if he stayed on the forehand and hunted. But he's opting to go to the backhand. Fair attempt. Lovely white. Just 
Joe Boy not far away again. see some aggression on the forehand, Sammy. Two seconds. Jack in the pit's also an option. Bang! Oh, look at the ball there, clean. That's good. What a shot. <laughs> Fantastic ball. Two. Indicated by marker Rodney Bates, who, what do you reckon? Go and get him an extra card now. Already through 15 ends. Yeah, he'd probably can't got a 25-end card, I reckon. Can't so see yeah. either breaking away any time soon. It's all on Jay's weight now. His line's good. Oh, opportunity here for Brad to hit the front. Near that rustling, it's Brad the technician again. Every day we get some rustling going on in the, the background. It's the slowest biscuit opening I've ever heard in my life. Uh, it's usually the rubber free sell at roll. <laughs> you don't have a mic, you can't defend yourself. Not sure if that's done enough for three, has it? Okay. Rod's got the three paddles up, ready to go. Three it is. So that's two, two threes for Brad in the last three ends. Takes a 14-12 lead. That's probably the difference is that he's actually scored three threes in this match. Yeah, well, it's eight ends apiece. Those multiples starting to add up. talked about, um, and I know this is singles, not champion champs, but we talked about Brad and Taylor winning the, the BCG champion champs as a couple. Imagine they went out won a state title each in singles as a couple. Never a chance, Taylor leads it. Champion of champions at the moment, 18-10. Last couple ends the way, Leonie Flint. Sorry, front of the shop, please. Marginally behind Jack Lightwood. Jay Boy, it's just. <laughs> no mess her around. There was that one off without any of the Jack. Neither of them are dying wondering, that's for sure, Sammy. And Brad just puts it straight back. <laughs> He's urging it to flop over, which would change probably Jay's shot. Jay's after it again. Awfully close again. Just needs to hold. Oh. It's another deadie. <laughs> Hope your lunch is still there when they're finished. Yes. <laughs> Give us some scores, Sammy. What would, you like? would you like some champion champions or some men's singles round no, of 16? we'll do some men's singles. Let's get onto it. Okay, let's go. Well, Brad Marin leads Jay Barnoros 14-12, but you already knew that. Next door, Eddie Mackle. 
Billy McIlwain beats Adam Fitzgerald 15-6. All right. At he picked Green. up a ton last weekend. Uh, last, last, last weekend, eh? Last. Ooh, that's good. He's done well. He's <laughs> shots last weekend and today, you know. So. Last end, not weekend. Uh, Stan Slowinski is beating Bucky Lehman 20-12. to 12. Stan Slowinski up and about. Probably what? He's opened up a lead. He's picked up the last three ends in a row. Lead 16-5 over Ethan Fruin. Uh, Jared Boyd is running away from Scott Boshan. Is he ever? 20-9. He's had a couple of threes in a row. Norm Whitehead continues to lead over Mark Jones. 17-12. Greg Brown leading Shane Holmes. 15-9. And Dan Prittle still holds a lead over Rod Sinclair. 17-12. Score line there. Tell you who is working back into one of the games in the Champion of Champions quarterfinals, JT. That's Jill Smith. She's picked up six shots in the last two ends. And Lynette Pim's lead has been reduced to four, 19 15. Score line in that one. response from Joe Pye as we replay this end. There's even a lot of talking going on between this rink and Vinny next door. I'm not sure Adam's getting involved in it at all, but... <laughs> I think the last three or four ends, there's just nothing important going on. <laughs> Great correction from Brad. Bowling front last. Yeah, full bowling front. Thanks. Probably just his white out him there. He had every chance to land with a you know, foot of weight, two feet of weight to sit the ball and turn the jack. Shot, please, mate. The back bowl or the front? Back way. How far past, please? Okay. I don't need to. Thank you. I'm a bowl in front of Jack High. You are a bowl in front of Jack High. Excuse me, vision's good. Well, it wasn't good, but it gets a handy result. Might see some weight here, Sammy, I reckon. Nice. Really deliberating here about what shot to play. Well, there's a pretty good chance, just not the way to get both the bowls out. That's why I assumed he was going to play weight. It's tight. Both bowls gone down to have a look at the head, surveying it. Yeah, so Brad's obviously still going to get another one thereabouts. Let's try and change the shape, like try and turn the jack high one. It's probably a bowl or so short. Try and move that. Are you happy with the way that's sort of set up if you get a third in there? I think you're going to get a third, but you just want to put it in a different spot. Yeah. Take away all three of them going. If he turns one of these, it changes the shape too. Oh, 
Well, he did that. He stood it up. I don't think it's three, though. Oh. It's going to be far away. Oh, oh. run baits. Yeah, there you go. And his eyes are generally pretty good. Quicker, try and get a few out. Get the front one through the jack. Yeah, I, th I think your chance of getting both, at least two, sorry. Four here this time around. Just arriving. We'll try to Turn. probably sit the jack eye bowl out, JT. It's just coming now. Oh, this is turning nicely. Oh. Stiff not to hang around at least for second shot. <laughs> Be two, I reckon. Ooh, where's that two going? There. So it's all of a sudden seven shots in the last. What is it? Four, four rounds. rounds. Yep. Here comes some coffee, Sam. <laughs> You're easy to please, eh? Hey? The old bean. It's the nectar. Bean. Sixteen twelve. The way of Brad Marin and his men's singles around of sixteen contest here at Penny Hoy's Bowling Club as State Champs Week continues. Champion Champions quarterfinal action as well this morning. Scores in those games: Talamara and leading Leonie Flynn at 18-10. Leonard Pym leads Jill Smith 19-15. Brooke Edwards just two away from victory leads Michelle Tate 23-11. And on the firing up here on A Green, Jody Fraud leads Katrina Glover 21 shots two. Six. Gap, Jack and Bowl, please. What's the gap? Yeah, okay, sweet. Morning, Benny Fletcher. Hope you're well. Um, we'll well we haven't decided what we're going to do next as Brad draws a cracker there. So um, there's it'll be a singles match. I know that. Yeah, there's <laughs> obviously so quarterfinals of the men's singles this afternoon as well as semifinals of... Women's champion of champions. I reckon we'll do... With half a possibility of a game this evening, but we won't know until... A result. ...and other results. Yep. I'm a bet, man. Well, I reckon we'll do a ladies singles champ champs game next. I think you are onto something, Joshua. Yeah. Semi-final stage. We have one match finished, Sammy. Yeah, as Brad makes his way back to the mat, holding a good one, Jared Boyd has turned it on the last four ends. He's picked up three, three, two and a three to defeat Scotty Potion. 25-9. Jared Boyd from Melbourne winning through to the quarter final. Got a special. Yeah, we can do that. We, no, can do we, that. we got a special we shout that. out here. We just got a text message from uh, Steph Priest, or for those watching at the Kitten Primary School, Miss Priest, it'd have to be. You yes. know. They're all sitting at home in the ta so sitting in the classroom watching bowls at the moment. You know, so shout out to all the kids. I don't know what grade it is. At least get it on full screen. Don't <laughs> half screen rubbish. <laughs> Big bowl here from Jay. Unders. Ooh. Well, we said no, they looked like breaking away, JT. Yeah, the game's breaking Far open. Far away right from that happening right now. Two and a half. 
stoppages. And the back one? Very similar. Any idea of shot? What should I play? Brad just asking Rodney Bates, what shot should I play? <laughs> I said, I can't quite give you that sort of information. You'd be surprised about how many markers don't know the rule and actually have answered that over the years. Surely not. <laughs> Seriously. I have seen it happen. Big bowie from Jay. Tied again. Another couple, what is it? Uh, another two. Oh, hey, uh, Bradley Marin. Three ends in a row. Scoring multiples as well, JT. Most important, and uh, it's opened up and 18 shots and 12 lead here. Brad Marin starting to get locked in here. Another cracking opening bowl. Jay try hard to open something up. <laughs> Turns the pole onto the jack and then walks back down. Unfortunate. Target gets back to the same line as his first bolt shot. And uh, a shout out to, to T Bone today, Tommy Lester, who's uh, joined us on the stream. It's a fair correction. Falls back. Enough a shot. Well played. Far away, Sammy. Just needs to get up there in time to the bowl, preferably, but Jack's, oh, Jack's okay right. as well. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa. I thought for half a second, the last little deviation, it was going to go through the middle without touching yep. the Jack and yeah, bowl. I was going to get a little bit of a touch on the bowl, but then still run on passes. There's a lot. Look at the turn. Watch this. A little touch of the bowl. Oh, it's almost got in the scoop and snuck back around. Jay doesn't seem far away either. We're awfully close. Through oh, the hole. The jack up through the hole. Yeah, shot. great ball. With it. <laughs> we didn't see half of that because Brad was too busy throwing a replay of the last shot in, but that's all right. Burn. <laughs> Well, that's all right, because Brad Marin's coming down for a close look, so we've got a bit of time. Cracking was, head. Uh, fairly timely trail of the jack, given the state of the game, JT.
Um, there's a between the blue idea shirt and the grey and red blue. So the blue uh, shirt is actually technically the world championship shirt that uh, some of their markers, umpires and uh, ITOs used last year at the world champs. The grey and blue ones are the, um, sorry, the grey the grey and red ones are the ones that are generally been in stock for a while now. It's a good question, Barbara. Timmy Hancock's loving the slow mo replays. On you, Timmy. Timmy. So, I'm all out of a sudden. Chance for Jay, who's holding a couple here out of 13. <laughs> Needed to win the end here. Got to drop four ends in a row in a game like this. Sure, if he's there, it's not gonna be. He's probably. So de uh, definitely uh, too. And low, yeah. low for me to be very judgmental, Jay, because he's an absolute gun bowler. But he's probably squandered a couple free hits at a couple different times throughout this match. And um, the, the the ones you leave on the table sometimes come back to haunt you, Sammy. But again, singles. As long as you're scoring and they're not, you're a chance. Interesting to see what he does with the Matt and Jack here because he was building up some good heads when he was playing real short and for the first time of the game always tried to stretch it right out. Oh, here he goes on an absolute roll down on B Green. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bucky. <laughs> Hit the front 21 20 over Stan Solinski. 12 to 20 and has picked up three twos and a three to hit the front. Oh. Not showing me bias there at all. No, anyway. no, not at all. Big finish coming up. Couple other scores, Bobby Watt, yeah, just two away against Ethan Frew and 23 shots to seven. As we mentioned, Jared Boyd already through to the quarterfinals with a convincing win over Scott Potion. Norm Whitehead still leads over Mark Jones, 19-15. Tight contest, that one. Greg Brown also a comfortable position over Shane Holmes, 21-10. Four away from victory, and Dan Prendall... Holds a lead over Rod Sinclair. 20 shots to 15. Still the way to go. Brad holds on in time. Great weight. Jay looks close. Oh, how close was that to the jack without touching it? He did touch it. Brad opting to go to the forehand. He'd be looking either land that last bowl of Jays. He'll play with weight that if he passes, he might split the couple of the blue bowls behind too. Lands his own with that pace. He hangs around. Even little jack movement. It's not the worst. Is he getting down? I don't know if it is. Well. I think it's two still. I think, though, that what that does is it makes it a very good bowl here for Jay if he happens to jack down the line. 
similar, basically similar bowl to his last. Yeah, huge chance. going. Got to get down now. That is the wide hand, Maybe Sammy. That is the wide hand. Oh, he did that three times, basically. That turned a long way, didn't it? Probably. Probably his weight just hurt him like... Ah, oh, that's you what know, it was, Just a the head. fraction quick, I guess. I, and we're splitting airs there. Huge Big chance. chance goes missing. Yeah, to Brad Marin, sir. So said. Add another one in. If he can, he'll take a 21-14 lead. Pretty good. Oh, as it falls in, it's okay. I think you might have just ran a fraction too far. Yeah, you're right. Is, looks like it would just be the two, so it'll be a 2014 lead. Jay's just gone for a little bit of a breather. Comfort's, Comfort's up. Oh, if you wanted to say something, that's good. <laughs> That'd be self muted. <laughs> I was just indulging in a little bit more of my coffee, Sam. I like it. Just do a cheeky around the grounds, ring next door, Adam Fitzgerald. Still well and truly in the game. He's won the last three ends. Vinnie McElwain still holds a 17 shot to 10 lead. How's your man Buck going? Uh, no change. Still 21 to 20. In fact, you must have fallen asleep because none of those scores have changed in the last five or ten minutes. The yoke confirmed by Michael Rod Bates. Two shots. Women's Champ Champs quarterfinals. Taylor Marin three away from victory. Leads Leonie Flynn 22-13. Leonard Pym, who I reckon picked up a four halfway through the game to lead 19-8. Now leads 19-18. Wow. Over Jill Smith. But I reckon JT that Leonard may have picked up a couple on the previous end. So wait for that to be confirmed. Oops. Brooke Edwards still two away from victory. Michelle Tate's picked up the last couple of ends, 23-13. And Jody Fruin's game still in action, 22-9. She leads over Katrina Glover. We're all up to date at Benny Hoey's Bowls Club. Another good ball from Brady. Brady again. Just a finish in behind. And yeah, does. Well done. Just 
Jay's going again. Close. Might have both bowls. Ooh. One out. Yeah, it turns a little bit more. You're right, JT. Gets both bowls out down the line. Back to one. Marika, you're looking at the wrong event probably because this is the men's singles, not the men's champion champions, whereas the ladies are playing champion champions at the moment. Jay's going to get back to the draw here on the forehand side. Good weight here makes things interesting. Trying hard. Oh, nearly. Have to be. Don't know. Uh, yes. Yes. Ron Bates has got the blue paddle up for one. Last bowl shot. Well, good, Marika. We're here to help out. Still, chance of a trail of the jack here for Brad Barrett. Does it need to hold on, I reckon, JT? Yeah, it's going to go. It is the swoopier side. And probably the weight, Didn't obviously. Didn't give a chance yeah. with the weight. Which he's unhappy about, mm. as, as you expect. Chance for Jay to head. Close, Sammy. All on the speed. Someone only touching the jack. Two it is. Added to perfection. Couple. 20 to 16. Still anyone's game. A little bit of moisture in the air. Bradley? It's pretty good. And absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Has not looked like it all week at Penny West. A few drops of moisture in the air. Very unexpected. Anyway. 2016. Still got a feeling we're going to be here for a little while. Now I had to put the jumper back on, Sammy. <laughs> What's going on here? It um, you can see it coming from over the back, over your back right shoulder. It's where the weather comes from. You can too. <laughs> You're going to go check out the bomb now, are you? Yep. Where are you looking? Mm, don't know where I've ended up here. Oh, come ended on. up in Griffith. Where, what are you doing, mate? We're uh, in Victoria for starters.
It's not a lot in it, Dave, looking at the radar. Chase, looking better here, Sammy. Is he going to hang around for shot? Probably just stand still. I reckon it's gone too far. Give us some score updates, Sammy. What would you like? Oh, you know which match I want to know. Ah. Oh, couple ones either way. Still leads 21-20. 22-21. Buck Lehman over Stan Slowinski, that is. A bit high. Is he getting down now? Come late. Ronnie at hard. <laughs> It'll count. Got it in. Yep. Two. Danger. Jay needs to draw this with his last gun. Drop to a soft three here. Oh, his call's no here. wider. He's no wider. He does have something to sit on if he needs to. Uh, he's just gone too far. He just might have hurt him to say. Is he? No, he's way halfway down the green. That hurts. JT. Chance now for Brad Marin to add in a third. Mm. He doesn't have to do a lot different too than his last. Fraction tied up, which means he might be under Jay's first one. Doesn't want to back edge anything. No, he hasn't done that. Speed was awesome again. Probably just under a little bit too far. Two conceded. I don't reckon he'll get any more than that, just quietly. Two it is. Back to back twos here a couple of times. 22 4 to 22 16. No, I'm having a shock at this point. It's again. all been... Well, you're kind of right. There's been one, two, three, four, six twos scored in a row. Hasn't been a single scored in seven ends. It's at that stage of the match, Sammy, where, guess what? Mm, you can win. Can so, win it. Yeah, so that component comes into the thinking and rationale. Started here by J-Bite. Aaron, it's a knockout. Aaron, and Aaron's joining us from the newly joined j Boy Club of Curry Curry. Well, she Aaron's still a Curry Curry. So we'll be venturing to once this state championship campaign finishes. the good ball by J Boy. Oh, gets a piece of the jack. Brian Brad is representing the Bendigo Capacity Goldfields region and Kangaroo Flat specifically, the club. I thought there'd be weight. Close. Yeah. That jack go over the bank. I'm very surprised that it hasn't. It's just <laughs> gone in the ditch on the ring next oh, I door. I thought it was going to go over. I thought it was going to launch. I was worried for a few spectators' safety for a little while. Jimmy Scullin's probably in the phone line there. Didn't seem too concerned. Hey. Doesn't seem concerned about a lot, though, to be honest. 
Well, we called him Bozo yesterday. That didn't really fuster him either, you know, so. Just want to state pairs, no worries. He's doing his thing. Easy. There you go. Jack goes flying into the ring next door and we'll restart 22-16. Score remains. A few um, of the women's quarterfinals in the Chamber Champs, JT, at 23-23. 24-24, but no one can close out the game. Yeah, they've been lingering in the 20s for a while. They were a long way up, all of them. What about the backs? Sammy, what are you doing out there? Should we have a look at the one you're interested in? He's done it! Buck Lehman through to the men's singles quarter final. Trailed Oh, as much as 10 at one stage was 19-9 down against Stan Slewinski. He's come back to win 25-21 and is through to the quarterfinals. Bob Watt also through. Gets the job done over Ethan Frew in 25 shots to 20. That's who he plays next. Norm Whitehead and Mark Jones locked in a battle. Norm still leading 20-18. Greg Brown leads Shane Holmes 22-11. In the final game, Dan Priddle, one away from victory. Leads to Rod Sinclair, 24-18. Starter by Jay Boy. Another good way to bowl from J Boy. Will count as well. Might change angles a little bit for Brad. Uh, he's still going to offer the forehand. Afternoon, Lance. Hope you're all. Yeah, look, we haven't actually committed to what we're doing next. I believe it'll be a ladies' champion, champion semi final, but uh, we'll uh, decide that very shortly. And then it's still 50 50 as to whether we have a third time, a uh, third game today as well, based off some results in other events. Big chance again for J-Boy here. He's holding two. The only thing he does want to do is create a target. Brad's hit really well this match. And, uh, and he's drawn in there. He's made three. And probably no bigger target either. Big bowl. Forehand it is. Gone big. Close. Oh, it's another daddy. He has hit extremely well this match. Deadhead number nine, <laughs> I think. We better give Brad, our technician, a bit of props. Everyone's loving the replays. His head's gone huge. More than that, Spence. You're only talking about what's on Facebook. YouTube has a st st stack of watches as well.
It's another 630 watching on YouTube right now. The last three ends, Brad hasn't drawn quite as good as he has all match, and J-Boy has been nailing it, but Brad's been able to get himself out of trouble, Sammy. Graham Spencer, great game. 380 players watching. Good thanks. <laughs> well, I don't even know if they're players. They could be just people watching. <laughs> great. But as I informed him, there's also another 600 on YouTube. to the ball. Just like that stays on. Yes. Brooke Edwards did take out that match, Sammy. <coughs> Jay will be looking to drop a yard or so. Sliding in front of Brad Marin's last two bowls. Yeah, still just over. Chainsy for Brad Marin. Yeah. He can actually turn the jack yes. around and hold match. He knows it. <laughs> <laughs> Tough shot, but Kay. Ball that uh, hand is turning a mile. I back would, to the jack from there. I would be attempting it. Absolutely. You're not very... Sometimes you don't know what chances you get to win a match. Close. There's the hold. Probably like 18 inches, I reckon. Underplayed it, JT. Underplayed it. Well, we got off this end. We've killed it two ends in a row. And 23. Can't imagine uh, J Boy killing it. <laughs> uh, no, no. I think we're pretty safe in safe as all. Be the last bowl of the end. Whether it's one or two. It's up to J if he can throw another one in. More than capable, Sammy. More than capable. Just needs to hold on with the right weight. Close. Needs to hold on inside Brad's last. Oh, is it? Oh, I'll, I'll pay that. Will you? So, Brad Marin. Two it is. Another two, Sammy. It's all we're scoring at the moment. Twos. What is it, JT? The last two, four, six, seven ends. Richie Benno would love that. Two for two, two, two. 22, 18. Imagine we got to 22 all then, too. <laughs> yeah, that's the Women's Champ of Champs game. A couple rinks over. Jody Lynette Fruin's Pim has through. been in the lead just about the whole game, JT. Still leads, but it's 23, 22 now. Jody Fruin's won 25, 12. Oh, Jill Smith had a chance to add a third in, JT. You reckon she's gone through? And has overplayed it and punched her own ball out of the head and replaced it two to two. And now we've one ball to come. Start nice here from j Boy. Jesus got cold. <laughs> How are you going? I did pack the trackies in the bag, yeah, so yeah, they I might come well. out. They're coming out. Tee up. <laughs> Look at you, though. Oh. <laughs> you got a t-shirt, a jumper, and a vest. <laughs> What's wrong with you, mate? Did Lin Lynette Pim draw that over there? It was at least second. Oh, she sat the bowl out. I'm not sure if it's for one, but it's either one up or one down. The game will continue. j Boy's close again. It'll be a couple. It's run away. 
We might see some weight here. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap. I'm back and wait. Very close, very close. And a piece of the jack. Where's it going, JT? Straight back. Still in the ditch? Yep. In the ditch. Uh, Brad's toucher went Brad's, out of bounds. Brad's touch J Boy's toucher went out of bounds. So J Boy's currently holding one. Wow, what a highlight. Did, two poles did Brad left get that slow mo? No good. I'll well, leave it for now. Jay's on the mat, <laughs> ready to deliver his third bowl of the end. She said, JT, that Jack is pretty much what's just to the right of the number six. ring number six. There you go. You can see the mark there. Beautiful camera work. Never mind the slow mo. Now holds two. Brad still with two bowls left. I reckon JT is 23 apiece in that Women's Championships contest between Lynette Pym and Jill Smith. Morning, Westy. Hope you're well, mate. Thank you, boy. Brad's not there. She passed the front one to cut that one out. Yeah, probably. Enough a second. Still plenty of room, though. Taylor's one next door. Yes, she has. Very, very strong performance over Leonie Flynn. She gets the job done. 25-14. Jay. Hasn't sent it either. Has to be just the one. <coughs> Still close because Bates wasn't giving it away. So it was a measure, but... Favourite Brad's four second. You have to say off that angle, it's only one. Still, room for the shot to be drawn here. Definitely quicker. Probably wants four feet on his last. Is he going to hang up, Sammy? Stay up. There it is. Oh, how is that for a shot? 23 18. Edges closer to victory. That was a big, big one to get. Just two away from victory now. Morning, Shane. Hope you're well, mate. So Taylor Marin won that match 25-14, Sammy. Confirmed. So still the one game going in the Women's Champion of Champions. Those through already to the semi-final. Jody Fruin will take on Brooke Edwards. Oh, Annette Pims just drawn a toucher over there. Winner of that will take on Taylor Marin. Andy starter. <laughs> Jay just resets, says, uh, someone wanted to be on the, the rink. It's almost like there's a game of bowls going on, JT. Yeah, some people have not much awareness at times. Another good bowl by Brad. Holds Kane, probably wants to run away. Doesn't Makes like that enormous one. Enormous target. Let it just go. Mate. Not watching
Chance. Much better. Got both of them, I reckon. He's got the other one over the jack. Oh. Kill. Stayed in. It's one to Brad Marin. Just got to get past the front, JT. It's counting. Oh, close. We're getting a little Running. bit more rain oh, now. One on a measure, one on a measure. Jeez, there's a bit happening. Jay boys close. Just hold up. Doji to run the last little bit. Well, it is a good second now. Makes it a lot harder for Brad to draw another one and win the game. Both lads still with the ball has come. can't get over how many people are oblivious to a game going on just walking behind the rinks. Don't think he's sent it, has he? Still coming. Not quite, though. Yeah, Still one to Brad Marin. So, Barry, you're the thing silly. And the game will continue another round. Just depends if Jake's probably just, just got to get past his own JT for a shot. Quick. Oh, only just went in. Just get that little back edge of the ditch and stays up is enough. An effort. So, Brad Barron lose, moves. Another one closer to victory. One away. Four, 18. American, he now one with his first, put the pressure right on straight away. He's overplayed it. Is it passed? Like in between the bowls.
She's got four in. Yeah, stands up, not enough. Jay still holding one. Good ball. Just about full on rating. And Jay adds a second in. Forces Brad Marion to play a bit of weight. Misses, opens up the chance for Jay to add a third in. Well, he only needs one, so if he gets it right, he can... I know, but he doesn't want to drop us off three or four. Still got another one. There. Oh, it's not far away from counting. Does he go? Does he go to the drive again or try and get the jack in the ditch? I think so. Yeah. Oh, that or he gets a piece of the shot bowl and kills as well. Huge weight. Didn't come out great. Oh, no. Oh. Got two out. That's why that last bowl out. was probably an accidental yeah. bad bowl by Jay. Because it did create a different angle for him. Correct. Bit happening. Bit of rain. With a helicopter landing on top of us as well, JT. I <laughs> 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 hope it doesn't. It's all happening here at the Bitty Goys Bowls Club. There's also an enormous game of bowls going on. How close what is it? Is going on? Is it the army? <laughs> anyway, j has got to recompose himself. He's only one, trying to add in the second tier. Important he adds to the count if he gets chances like this as he sends it. Oh, can't be far away. It's got two. He made it. 23 20, 24 20. <laughs> it's in. Oh. Absolutely pouring down at the old Bendigo East Bowling Club. And the game continues, JT. <laughs> <sighs> it's drama everywhere on the green, off the green, in the commentary box. Glad you're here on the edge of your seat, Geordie. I know that's probably all sort of tongue-in-cheek. She's the match next door. 21-13, yeah, the way of Vinnie McElwain. He's just driven the shot bowl out and has made himself a couple of shots. Still a few bowls to come on that end. Jay boy uh, doesn't have a cloth, I noticed this. He doesn't play with a cloth. Even when it's like this? Well, Brad There was just one night, Brad... <laughs> It was one night at Melbourne. It was absolutely pouring down. Brad just to... offered him his cloth and he put him back. <laughs> <laughs> God, I couldn't hang on to a ball yeah, for one yeah. or two. He's going here. It's either off. The oh, it's a gap. Wow, it's the gap. Wow. 
Brad'll be looking to add one more, not next to his own. Our technician Brad's <laughs> going to a lot of lengths here to keep our equipment dry <laughs> and just pan the cameras. Job, an enormous job. He was losing it there about a couple minutes ago, but he uh, he's composed himself. He's got the cover on all the equipment. Trying to find the balance of uh, not disrupting the players, but also protecting the equipment. Jay, game down. Needs the inside of this bowl. How far has it run? Don't know if it's enough. Still one, I reckon, the way of Brad Barrett. He's going to come and have a closer inspection. It's only one for sure. Probably needs a second. Again, drawing a second where it's not going to potentially be both getting out. We didn't actually catch the end of the um, morning to Peninsula Geelong game either. I was just either. thinking that completely we got missed that in everything with, that was going on. With tarps coming down and tape getting pulled. and Trying to find a score. It was 23 all. <laughs> I had a feeling Le Lynette Pym might have won because she drew a side knocker early on in that last end. I don't know that for a fact, so don't quote me on it, those joining us at home. Brad delivering his second to last ball this end. Full hand. Slides up past Jay. It'll oh, count it's a stopping second. in time, is it? Yes, that's two. Oh, big bowl. Can't, big bowl. Jay can't simply just run at the bowl now. His options are attack the jack, get it down the back. Oh, that's a huge last bowl from Brad Marin to a second in there. Just Or try and draw it somehow. Makes things harder. Do you see he's still search on the back end? I still think because it gives him options. Sort of yeah, gives him options. Gets it down in the back corner. Well, he makes two. Here we go. It's last bowl this end. He's down match. Not a mile away here, JT. He's close. He's got to give a little more. He's got to give a little what more. Oh, what a bowl! Oh. That is an amazing bowl. Big time from Jay Von Norris. Snags the jack for two. Game down. No, you, the weight. Exquisite. Look at the fist bump before he even got the jack. <laughs> that is big. That is huge. Oh, gets it past Brad's bowl. But Brad Marin can still win the match here. Nothing for giving it a chance. Can land the balls. Jack in the pit himself. How's he looking? He's searching for the Jack JT. Doesn't look too far away. He's searching for the Jack JT. Is he going to get down? Just needs to move a bit yeah. more. Oh, oh look, it's stuck <laughs> on the Jay by balls. And we continue. <laughs> How close to victory. I reckon he's a mill away from oh, I can't believe that. it. I can't believe that didn't let go more than it did. Oh. 24-22. What a sport. Now both players can win. Brad Marin that far away from shaking hands. And we'll play another end. <laughs> and now Brad has to consider that Jay can go out now too. Correct. Oh, it's 
dropped about 700 degrees oh, in the yeah, last freezing. half hour. <laughs> but we're not moving. <laughs> oh, what a starter. No worries. There's one on the jack early. Thank you. Oh, that's not right. How's Brad shaping? Awfully close. Got to keep trying to change this up, JT. Can't leave out the way it lies. No way. Not with the quality of this game being so far. It's a lot higher than I think he wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Weight was pretty good. Brad only has to just beat his own on the inside or roll it over a couple and he's half a sniff of getting a shot. It's coming now, Sammy. Big chance here. It's nice, coming now, Sammy. Nice weight. It's coming now. Doesn't want the gap. No way. Oh, <laughs> Oh. Just to find the gap. Jay can't like this short. He's got to look to get to his and rock it over can't, a couple of times. Can't just or play just jack high weight. He's got to play a fraction more. If he can split the gap. No, oh, turns his own. Brad Marin coming on down for a look. It is Assuming it's just a one still. Are you playing, JT? Are you playing something similar and just assume you couldn't possibly get that same gap twice, or...? Oh, I'm nearly switching to forehand. Land the bowl. Work off the shot bowl, Get yeah. the jack. I mean, he's playing that backhand more, though. That's the way he's been drawn predominantly this match. Well, the best thing is for Brad now, he gets two attempts at whatever shot he wants to play, you'd imagine. For when it is. Just searching. Just going to go under now. Trying to hold on. Only needs a piece. <laughs> under. To stay on. Yes. Does stay on. But Jay, what do you do if you're Jay now? You, pff, hard to cover anything. Are you playing Joshy Boy? These situations more than me. Well, I think you're still playing very similar to your last bowl. His weight was really, really good. He can tip his shot ball over and put it in a good home and make two, maybe three. I reckon he just asked Rod Bates who he felt was second shot. Well, I don't know what he actually did ask him then, but he did point to Jay's bowl though. He's uh, next closest. He could actually slide around and get to Brad's bowl and flop in too. Radio. Jay buys last bowl this end. Stalking it. Speed looks alright. Oh, doesn't want to go and slice the jack down the line. He doesn't have to wait for that. He needs to sit. He counts. Nearly. Oh, oh, does he? Does he fall in? Of Brad Marin, last ball of the end to win the game, just needs the one. See, where I don't know what second is, I don't know what third is, I don't know what fourth is, but 
if he's closest by, which I think is the one behind, his second or third shot, he can't afford to run and pop it out because he could actually go down match. I reckon he'll play similar weight to his last. That's not dangerous weight. And if he gets a jack with that, it's shake hands. Going back to backhand, Sammy. He's on a high line, I reckon. He's just trying to turn his own in. That's all it needs. It's not getting down, JT. It's not getting down. It's another one to Jay Pye Norris. We continue. Two it is. It's two. Oh, it's two. 24 all. Oh, Josh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. It's just this twos. Well, the I won't say it's the last end because they might get killed 400 times. Three ends in a row the way of Jay Bo Norris. He's picked up six shots in a row the last six ends. Jay's won. They've all been twos. Don't go moving, though. The rain has gone away for now. will be end number 29 to decide who progresses to the quarterfinals of this year's men's singles. So it's only a round of 16 game, Josh. Oh, good starter from Jay boy Brad's gone early. Close. Oh, well, there's one dead oh, end. Oh, it's gone in the ditch. It's 399 to go. <laughs> <laughs> Last end, we could be here for a while yet. Reset. Jay Boy's first bowl. Fraction quick. Won't be unhappy with that though. There is a build up of players around the corner of this uh, spectators in the green. There's people in the windows inside looking through. Everyone that is here is eyes on this game. I don't even know there's another match going out in the B green still. <laughs> no one cares right now. <laughs> but there's a match going on next door as well. <laughs> no one cares about that one. <laughs> This one could be the shot, though. Close up. Just needs to run the last little bit. Oh, pulls up. Is that that little bit of moisture on the green dragon, Sammy? Yeah, it could be. It's clearly not got the finish it had an hour or so ago. It's still room for the shot to be drawn. I reckon uh, j Boy's going to correct here.
Close semi. Nice line. Close semi. Real good. Close semi. Just needs to run. Yeah, on the line. Yeah, that's Here enough for the shot. Still room, but it's it's one of those ones where it's not rolled on it, which means Brett Brett's not going to run it. I don't reckon. Just a measure for second, so even probably no certainty. So. Even if he got the ball that he has shot. On the draw. Backed himself to draw the shot. Probably wants two feet on his last. Urging it to run. No, it turned his back on it. Nothing for Jay here to be a little bit positive. Turn his own over a couple of times. If he skirts it, he gets the jack. Doesn't want to leave a jack eye, so I'd be playing two feet or wait. Give yourself the best options possible. the jack with two feet away. It'll make a tough last shot for Brad Marin. Not a bad line for it again. Line's good. Asking it for to sit. Line's good. Oh my goodness. Line's good. Jay by Norris. What a shot. <laughs> <laughs> what a last ball. <laughs> It's going to make it hard for Brad Marin. So what are the options, JT? Because there's not a lot. The only thing I can think of is maybe running on the forehand to try and get his ball through. I... If he fires at Jay, so he probably gets the wrong angle. Jay's front one. Hmm. Can draw the best shot of all time on the forehand. Definitely forehand. Setting himself as Vinny's about to bowl next door. He's backed himself to outdraw this on the forehand. It is the swoopy side, so if it's going to get down, it's the only side that's going to do it. Doesn't look terrible. Not far away. Doesn't look terrible. Needs to run. Doesn't look terrible. Ah, oh, what an effort. What a game, Sammy Rogers. What a great game. 25-24. Quality of a final. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was around a 16, you know. So, thank you for everybody for joining us. What a fantastic game we've had here this morning. Jay Bonoris from Metro West defeated Brad Marin from Bendigo Compassby Goldfields 25 24. We'll be back soon. Hopefully, the rain stays away. Big shout out to Brad, our technician. Lost it for half a second, but regained his composure when needed. Cheers, guys.